What's your uh, what's your what's your favorite Western movie? I ask everyone this. I like to know because I know what they are. I know the right answer. I know the right answer. Too. <laughs> well, I haven't I we seen have the same one. I haven't seen the Dirty Dozen or the Good and Bad and the Ugly or all the other westerns. You're. Let me see if I have the name. Right. <laughs> Probably Tombstone. Uh, Ooh, Tombstone's top three. Just because nothing, uh, no character I, I've ever like. Uh, you know how guys make jokes about Ryan Gosling and stuff like literally me. I remember yeah. being seven years old and watching Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday and being like, "That's me, literally me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Me and that guy, two peas in a pod. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, I'm just like Tombstone. him for real. <laughs> Tombstone is number three, I think, on my list all time best westerns. Number two is the uh i go back and forth but it's either the unforgiven or lonesome dove for the the top two lonesome dove kind of skirts in there because it was like a tv mini series and it's like four and a half hours long but um those are the best westerns of all time in my opinion the unforgiven is something that clint eastwood bought as a younger man and waited until he was old enough to play that character and it's so good god i can quote like half that fucking movie unforgiven is the one i was gonna say but to be honest Unforgiven and uh, Tombstone. It's hard for me to pick. Yeah, and I've only seen it once, but I remember really liking True Grit. True Grit's the, the new one or the older one with the new one. The new the new one is really good. The new one's good. The new one's a good film. Yeah, so it's very rarely, underrated. Very underrated. So rarely do remakes and reimagings or whatever, especially when it's like 30, 40 years removed. Are they any good? That like that RoboCop's a perfect example of just like, mm-hmm. what the fuck did you do? Like you missed the whole point of RoboCop. Total Recall's the same shit. Mm-hmm. But when they remade Total um, uh, True Grit, um, the recasting was excellent. You got Matt Damon and um, ah, what's his fucking name? Well, I can't hear the sound. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's it's it's. Jeff Dan, uh, what, Je- what's his uh, name? Um, Bridges. Bridges. Jeff, Jeff Bridges. Bridges. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Bridges plays um 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 Rooster Cogburn, the one-eyed yep. bounty hunter who shoots first and asks questions later. And a little I girl thought, comes yep. to him, says, "My father's been murdered by outlaws, and I hear that you're a man of true grit, and I'm gonna pay yeah. you to to help me take these 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 men down." And Matt Damon pals along too, and so the three of them are this really motley crew who are traveling in search of like a band of outlaws together and yep. matt damon and rooster cogburn are like pissing contests the whole way through throwing like biscuits in the air and shooting them with their pistols like it's it's fun and he's got jeff Brid- you need captions because jeff bridges decides that he's going to be murder, absolutely murder, 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 incomprehensible yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tater's easy to understand we don't tater tater is. Out the gun, but, but. <laughs> as this is no country for old men of western i it's a yeah. neo western. It's a neo western. I, yeah, like I like that. that. One. I like that one a lot. Yeah. It is, so, but, but, but I don't like to admit it is. I just I put Coen Brother films on their own. Like, well, True like Grit's a Coen Brother. True Grit's a Coen Brother film. The new it one is. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, the remake perfect. is better than the original. I know Kyle's going to agree with me. Judge Dredd. Oh, of course. Of course, <laughs> it's not a western. Well, yeah. no, no, it's a remake. <laughs> it's I have this western. personality flaw where back. when someone says like. A remake is never better than the original. Or he said it was so rare. Oh. So yeah, I yeah, start scouring for yeah, like yeah. exceptions. Oh no, that's a good one. Um, there's a there's a the really thing, good like reimagining that Bruce Willis did of the classic Clint Eastwood movie where called uh, where he uh, kind of goes into a town and plays the two gangs. There's two gangs running a town, and he goes in and plays them against each other. It's a Clint Eastwood movie where he does this. Bruce Willis remade it, made it his own thing, and it's called. Um, Ah, oh, what the fuck's it called? So I'll think Willis of it like Western. It's yeah, kind of, but it's in like the night. It's like in like the early 1900s. So he has 1911 pistols. It's not um, called Last Man Standing, but it's called Last Man Standing. Last it's game. called Last Man Standing, and it's uh, I think it's good, but it's one of those movies that I watched a ton as a kid, and so maybe that's why I like it. But yeah, he he like rolls into town in his in his car and uh basically starts playing the two gangs against one another and like killing the shit out of anybody that messes with him and um at one point he takes this absurd beating because they're trying to beat information out of him but he won't give it up and he like has to like crawl away and get his Mm -hmm. pistols and then like come back for revenge like it's it's a pretty good movie i i don't know if it's i don't know if it's good because i haven't seen it since i i don't know became a man grown but i really like this one my memory of it is good wild wild west 
with oh. <laughs> oh. Number one. Episode. Way, way down here. <laughs> really? I was going to say top three. <laughs> All time. Um, what, the What's giant the spider really elevates that film. That was What's a good one. Yeah. You know what's funny? You know what's funny ass that? is what elevates the film. I, which is, I, I heard that that script had been floating around for a while. Yeah. And apparently yeah. there were some producers who had a giant spider written for some sci-fi movie years back. And whenever this movie came up, they're like, there's been this giant spider idea floating around. We'll put it in the Western. Like He's that, passionate about just it. It was his thing. Unrelated. Well, this didn't pan out in Eight Legged Freaks, but it's going to be a hit <laughs> here in Wild Wild West. <laughs> what, who was the? So it's Kevin that one's Smith like. Is maybe told the story. Yeah, it was Will Smith and um and 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 that white white man. But who's the uh, the Spanish oh girl that's with them? Oh. That's like crazy attractive. I, I have not uh, seen that movie since I was a kid. I could. She I don't at one point she's wearing those old timey underwear that have the you know the button up ass square, but she hasn't buttoned it, and like they don't tell her, and it's great. Like like she has just tremendous ass like hanging out of the back of the old timey underwear, and they're just trying to play it cool. Like like what movie is this? Haven't, Wild Wild, Wild Wild West. West. I don't remember that scene, but now yeah, this must be a, you know maybe it is. Pretty <laughs> good. You know you, you know get to see Selma Hayek's that movie? ass. Yes, that, that is. To, I've got. What, what's that one again? He's about to say I got pictures of. It. Um, <laughs> Will Smith turned down the Matrix for that film. He, Will Smith was supposed to play Neo, and he's like, "Nah, I've got this other project, Wild Wild West." <laughs> Thank he God all, he didn't play Neo. <laughs> I know, right? Like, <laughs> he would have been. They, uh, they wanted not good. Will Smith to play Neo. It's yeah. like just a fundamentally different film at that point. <laughs>